So we touched on this a little bit before. We're going to get into it some more here in a second when we actually go into a script. But Bash has kind of a very, again, it's not full-blown regular expressions, but it's a somewhat <coughs> version of it, um, where I can use the wildcard, and it's basically going to complete anything that starts with an arg in this case. So that's just one. I can do the opposite and see anything in this folder that has ends with dot sh. Um, when you do something like this, what's actually happening is the ls command isn't seeing this string at all. If you wrote a little C program and you printed out what the input was, the input to ls would in fact be the names of all of these files. Before the ls command actually gets called by bash, bash is taking this, expanding it to whatever it can, and then sending it into the command. So this is really handy because what it essentially allows you to do is it allows any program to take advantage of Bash's ability to like do this matching without the program having to worry about it itself, right? So if you want to write a program that deals with files, you don't have to worry about how to handle this ampersand. You're never going to see an ampersand. The, all you're going to see is Bash is going to take the ampersand, expand it, and then it's going to pass you the list of all the files it expanded it to. So running this is exactly the same as far as LS is concerned. This is, well, let's uh, see if I can find something like that. So if I do anything that starts with an F, it's going to dot SH. So running that is exactly the same to LS as if I actually typed these in. Because Bash is expanding this to this before the LS program even gets called. Does that make sense? So this is important. Uh, It'll come into play here in a minute, but the gist of it is Bash is going to handle these expansions for you. You never have to handle them yourself in your scripts or in your programs. They get done before your program even gets called. Sometimes you don't want that to happen, and there are actually ways to force it to actually pass it as a literal string to ls. If I tried to do that, I would get nothing because there is no file actually by this name. Um, so if I use single tick quotes around it, it's telling Bash not to expand any of this. If I use double quotes, okay. Yeah, so if I use single or double quotes, it's not going to do this expansion. But with no quotes, it's going to do the standard expansion, turn this into something else, and actually send it into that. So understand when you're using one of these wildcard operators. So another one is. So the quotation marks mean match a single character. The asterisk means match one or more characters. So whenever you're using a string like this, just realize that your program's not actually parsing these. Bash is parsing them before it passes your program. That's true pretty much any shell. Um, the two most common ones you'll end up using are the asterisk and the question marks. The question marks if you need to match a single character. So if I did this, I wouldn't get any matches, right? Because I don't have anything to start with an F and end in a single dot. If I do this, I should get, I have one program that ends in a dot, one letter, it's my dot C program, right? Um, but these aren't something LS is dealing with. These are something that Bash itself is dealing 